way to gate seven. Hello. And there it says, welcome to Korea. And suddenly we're in Korea for the first time. And we just transfer, which is, we must go straight. This is the immigration area as you come in through the gate. <coughs> and we're going straight down. And here we are transferring at Incheon from gate 27 to gate 7. Maros is stopping for some quick photos. It's a good idea. And there's our own plane over there. Look at this lovely airport. Ah, it's our aircraft over there on the, on the left of the picture. Oh, there's a tourist tour I can see, so when we come back we can go on a tour of Seoul. It's a lovely airport. It's a good view of our aircraft. And the terminal building. There, straight ahead. Now we just want another picture we have our plane. And Incheon Airport, tarmac. Okay. Oh, security again. Another security check. No. <laughs> Five to eleven, yeah. So we're heading for gate number seven, so we're going to the left. The first mission is a lavatory. There's a nice Christmas tree straight ahead. So 5 to 11, follow that direction and hopefully the lavatories come up soon. Beverages, food, up to the right there's a prayer room straight ahead, beverages, food, rest and relax over here. Nice airport, we're going to have a good time here. So, made it to the lavatories, feel much better, and now we're going to make our way to the gate. We will be returning here for an eight hour stay on our way back to Copenhagen. So, we just got to make our way to the gate because our flight will be leaving at around six. We don't know how far away the gate actually is. So, we'll let Maro lead the way. Quite close, I think. Nice little cafeteria. Lotteria. I looked like a burger place. Okay, it's down there in the end. So there's our flight. Mara found it first. K6832 Ho Chi Minh City. And we will be leaving from gate 7, which is just down the hallway. It shouldn't be too far away. Nice big windows in the airport for viewing. You can understand why this is one of the best airports in the world, also. Seems to be a lot of uh, monks walking around. Aircraft for children to play in. It's pretty cool. I would love that when I was a kid. There's a smoking room coming up on the left. Those of you who want to smoke, there's a smoking room. And we're just going to go over and have a look at the panorama windows. Seats are quite comfortable if one has to sit here for a long time and can't find a lounge. Yeah. And we're heading to our gate, gate 7. It's gate 6, and there's our gate to the left. 
Ho Chi Minh, gate 7. And here we are at our gate, gate 7, leaving for Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> And Marlo is trying to get on the net. It's a free net. It's looking like it's connected already. Without any anything. It's one landing. Let's zoom in a bit there. So it lands. And touchdown. What a spotting location. They're unloading luggage off this aircraft or loading luggage onto it. And as we mentioned before, we will be spending eight hours here on our return trip. And we'll do a thorough filming of the airport. So many planes one's never seen before. This one's called T-Way. Dreamliner. First time I've seen an Air India Dreamliner, first time I've seen an Air India aircraft in many, many years. So our next flight to Ho Chi Minh City. This is the aircraft we're going to be flying with from Gate 7. Little view of the area we're sitting in now, our gate For area. security and safety purposes, we will be checking all passports and boarding passes prior to boarding. And that's the crew for the day. So you ready for the next flight? to Ho Chi Minh City. Yes. Hopefully we're quite fresh. Ah, we slept left a long way. Mm. Smiling for the camera. Good smile. It's a different way to board. We've done an escalator. Comes the aircraft. There's our aircraft for today. I think it's a Boeing 777 from this angle. First class, business class door, and we got our economy class door, which is why we all boarded at the same time. Yes. Selection of newspapers ahead. Probably local newspapers. Oh, we have in-flight entertainment. It's just fine. That's no, okay. Oh, let's watch the step. Okay, Thank you very much. You're Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Business class, looking fantastic. Maro, there, coming in. Hello, hello. <laughs> thank you, Anna. Thank you, thank you. It is a 777, three seaters. Those are the two back seats we wanted, but they were unfortunately sold out or occupied. Down into the brown section. Again. Nice Christmas music, like before. Found the seat. Ta -da. Well, this is the best window view I've had in years. I can rest my arm, a lovely view of the wing, 
and it seems to be a clean window today. The aircraft is being bored. <laughs> when you arrive on the aircraft, this is what the amenities look like. It's what is presented. There's a, a headset, a pillow, and a blanket. And we can look in more detail at them here. It's a soft blanket. And the pillow. Have we ever figured out what this material, one time use, one use material for the pillow? Very hygienic. And we have the headset, which we hope Mato will open and show us. It looks like it's a one socket, which means you can easily use your smartphone headset also, which will probably be a lot better than this one. Can we just have a look at the, the socket. Heading. Yeah, show us the socket. We'll bring it in a little bit forward. Let's see it. And that should fit into the I don't know if it's a seat or if it's into yeah. the... And yes, it's just like on the Airbus, we just flew on. It fits straight into the seat. And that's where it'll play from. Oh, obviously, that's where the sound comes from when you plug it in. Aircraft still being loaded. Quite a package coming there. And these cabins are really nice. Airy and spacious. And seems to be a lot of leg room for this aircraft too. So what do we think of the legroom? Well, look at this. Brilliant. I can really move this. So much space between my legs. I'm not used to having this much. I can, I can actually stretch out when I get my shoes off. Even more comfortable. Look at Maro. She used to have business. This is business for real now. Even though we are in economy class. <coughs> Very nice. Very nice legroom. Again, missing the leg rest. Mara's missing her leg rest that she always asks for. Little stand to put her feet on because she has shorter legs. Seems that Thai Airways is the only one who has that feature of the airlines we've flown with for now. Look at all these magazines and safety cards. I suppose we should quickly go through them while we're on the ground. Here we have the safety card for the Boeing 777-200s. Have a quick look at that. See, it's written in both Korean and in English. I'm, of course, in a hurry to get this part of the trip report done before we're in the air, so we can focus more on the in-air activity once we've taken off. <coughs> Here you have the Boeing triple seven safety information. Maro is taking some pictures on my left hand side in the meantime, which we can hopefully use for our Facebook and Instagram account and also our Google Plus. So please don't forget to follow us on Facebook or like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Now this is a first. I've never seen this before on an aircraft. Have you, Maro? No. Only in hotel rooms. This is the same feature almost as you have on a hotel room. Do not disturb, please make up room. The little stickers that you can put, it says, uh, please place a sign on your headrest for your convenience. So there's a please do not disturb sign. Please wake me up for the duty free. And please wake me up, please wake me for meal service. What a very good idea. See, there's two of those. I suppose that applies for two meals on a longer flight. That's a very good feature of Korean Air. Next we have the air sickness bag. Those of you who watch our trip reports regularly probably wondering whether I'm going to say it or not. And here we go. Air sickness bag, commonly known as the bath bag. Always make sure that you have it in front of you in the seat. You never know when you're going to use it. Maro has, on one occasion, had to use it twice. And we found out we didn't even have it in the seat in front of us. I had to run. Luckily, I made it. And, uh, well, let's not go into too many details. Luckily, those bags also had these nice strips. 
which help to close the bike properly in the event of air sickness, which can happen to anybody at any, any time. At the moment it looks like this flight is going to be rather empty. Not so many people on board. There's a whole room. Maro has a seat next to empty and behind is empty. The room is totally empty. That's lovely. Let's go back to the magazines. Next we move on to the Sky Shop. You can see the Sky Shop comes with an order form to fill out. I suppose you give it to the crew and they take care of your order. And where's the Sky Shop? Well, look at this very thick magazine. It's going to be a lot of shopping in here. I wonder if they stock all this merchandise in the aircraft. But I'm going to skim it through very quickly. Should give you an idea of what's available. You can already see perfumes, electronics, cigarettes, alcohol, etc. But this magazine or catalog just seems to keep going. Next up is another in-flight magazine. I'm not sure whether it's the official one or not. I think beyond, just under it, is the official one. We'll get back to that just now. But Morning Calm is also one magazine that's available in the seat in front of you. And that has various forms of information, articles, also cool. so some lovely pictures, and you can see some long articles if you don't feel like to watch the in-flight entertainment system. Now it's time to look at the Beyond in-flight magazine of Korean Airlines. You can see this month it's got a basketball focus. I've got to skim that through very quickly. This magazine, of course, has fleet information, movie information, various articles, travel articles, information about the airport that you're arriving at. But here you can see the focus this month is on the basketball. Seems like a good magazine. See all the Korean air aircraft contain quarantine disease information card, basically informing people what to do if they have symptoms. When we came into Incheon Airport early on today, uh, we were scanned with an infrared camera to check for illness. So let's have a brief look at Korean Air's in-flight entertainment system, which is called Beyond. I'll start with the movie section, but we're not going to go into great detail of showing. It's just basically to see what's available and what you can do with this system. Movies are categorized according to new releases, Hollywood hits, classics, Korean, Asian, kids, and Beyond special. What that means, I'm not sure. But back to the movies, got new releases. That's what I'll just have a quick look at. It's standard, it's December, and these movies have been released. Good selection of movies, about four pages worth of new releases, up to kids. And there you have a nice selection of children's movies, including Secret Life of Pets, which recently was released onto video. Next up will be TV. TV are categorized according to news, documentary, sports, comedy and dramas. Travel and food, life and style, others and kids. So let's just go up and see what comedies are available. Those are pretty well known. Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother, Friends, Mike and Mark. Next, we move on to audio. Obviously, you're going to have some music choices, some albums, audio books, and a playlist. Have a look at the albums. Classical music, for example. Maybe we have a look at one more. Western pop. Recent releases. I don't follow the music so much as I should, so most of you will probably know more about this music than I do. Your trip, and this area we can see, oh, it's quite limited information, that's our map information. We normally choose the auto zoom, which scrolls through the maps and shows your route and slowly zooms in on the area where you are, as it's doing now. It's a good system and gives you a good idea of where you are and where you're going. Have a look at your flight. It tells us how long it is to our destination and the speed. Ground speed, altitude, distance to destination, local time at origin, local time at destination, and time to destination. This is going to be a 4 hour and 42 minute flight. 
and let's have a look at the games. They also categorized according to board games, puzzles, sports, arcade games, and kids' games. Look at the arcade games. Yes, Pac Man's available as usual. That's always a good sign. Now we move over to the kids' entertainment area. And their entertainment area is categorized by movies, TV games, music, and storybooks. Obviously, everything's focused on suitable material for children, so we're not even <coughs> going to look at that. Let's move on to more. And that's various information about KAL, Korean Airlines. Have a look at the Sky Shop. That was a magazine we just looked at previously. Nothing to see there, it's more on adverts. Cosmetics, perfumes, categorized as everything else, what you want to buy. I think we're going to leave the shop straight away. We want the brightness of the screen. We can adjust how bright the screen is. Maybe you can see that as I press the button. And I'll dim it a little bit and brighten it up again. It's quite effective. Help. Handset control. How the handset works. It's all the information you need there. Back button. Seat control. I don't think we're going to need any help there. Not our seat, that's a business class seat. It looks really comfortable though. That's a Cosmo sleeper seat. Oh, lovely. I wish. Parental control. Another feature, that's so parents can control the in-flight entertainment system in their children's seat so they don't watch anything that's not nice for children to see. That it concludes the tour of this in-flight entertainment system. You can't have a tour of the in-flight entertainment system without having a look at the controller. So let's have a closer look. Could I open it with one hand? It pops out easily. Here we have the controller. I just turned the power off by mistake by pressing that button. There's buttons for volume, for changing channels, for calling the stewardess and various other features. Also the light above us is controlled. Yeah, if I press it, the light should turn on above me. Which it doesn't, it doesn't. Maybe it's when we take off. And here we have the joystick controller, used mainly for games. It's a nice little joystick you have here. You can see. It makes it easier to control games like Pac-Man. This is not a telephone as it is on other airlines. It just seems to be a controller, remote control for the games and for the touch screen. It's on a nice wire, there's plenty of wire. You can actually pull it all the way back or forward and packing it away is easy. One pull and it winds itself up. It clicks in and it's away. Those of you who want to charge your mobile phones up, there's a USB port here, right here. It's very effective. We used it for our Samsung Android telephones. And now let's have a look at the seat tray. It's a very convenient cup holder on the front of it. You don't see that so often. Very useful. And the table is like others, easy to lower down. Comes in two halves with a cup holder, convenient cup holder if you just want to have a drink and a snack in that area or for a meal you have a whole table and a cup holder over to the right and of course the table can be moved forwards and backwards and there's plenty of space from my stomach to the end of the table if I move it completely forward or towards me and now away from me Lots of space. No complaints there. And we're packing it away. And there you have it. A tray. Mara's asleep. Trying to sleep. She needs to entertain me. She needs to entertain me for the journey. That would be nice. Good luck. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Her flight time to Puccini today will be 4 hours and 52 minutes. During the flight, our cabin crew will be happy to assist you on seat belt and return your seat and tray table to the upright position. Seat belt is fastened. You are permitted to use your electronic devices. And pushback has begun. That was very quick. Here we have the Korean Air safety video. And that'll be playing while we push back. I'll watch it with one eye and one eye out the other window. Yeah, the engine is starting up. And we're on our way. The runway is just over here, so it should be quite a quick takeoff. Looks like there's just one ahead of us. They closed, so now we should be able to see something out of the window. So we can get the takeoff view. Doesn't seem to be a runway view from this aircraft. Thank you for waiting, ladies and gentlemen. You are now ready for pickup. Please make sure that your seatbelt is coming back. It's be a quick takeoff. Yeah. Runway 33 left. And we're turning onto the runway. I expect we'll depart straight away. It's the end of the runway, you can see it from the stripes. Maro's fallen asleep here next to me. And I think we're ready to go. Here we go. Thank you. 
uh, Boeing 777 for a short tour of the laboratories. The first thing that catches my eyes in here is the complimentary toothbrushes aboard this Korean Air Boeing 777. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what's going on. We have a lavender body care lotion and a lavender hydrating mist. Spearmint toothpaste and the toothbrushes. Some papers and some water cups down here. Now the water works. One water. A soap. We have a dirt bin as we usually have. Let's go up to the coat hanger. One coat hanger for your coat while you're in the toilet. Then lock. Closing the lock in that direction activates the light automatically. An ashtray, even though you're not allowed to smoke anymore, and the handle to get out. There's also a handle to hold on to in the case of turbulence. And the flush button is down here. And nice to see toilet seat covers to sit on for hygiene. And this is about the space I have inside the toilet. And I can see we have a student calling button and two rolls of toilet paper. And that concludes the tour of this toilet. I'm going to make my way back to my seat now and uh, we'll have some dinner. See you there. Staff are serving drinks and dinner. Very efficient and very neat. Very professional, all of them. So the drinks are almost here. So Mara was going to take our tray down get ready for drinks. We think it's only drinks and not meal yet. It should be a meal because it smells like there's a meal in the kitchen. Right. Thank you. Some honey roasted peanuts for the drink. <laughs> and the same for me please. That's guava, the purple one. Ah. Yeah, there comes my beer, which I get next. We also got to have one of those guava juices to dry from the tin. So here's the setup. One beer, a lovely refreshing guava juice from a tin. It's the purple tin on the, on the tray. There's guava juice. And uh, some nuts. Honey roasted, and then a refreshing gel. Nice to wipe our fingers and our face with afterwards, or beforehand it's supposed to be probably. And the Cass beer, Cass fresh. Ah, maybe you can do an Instagram. Can I lend you this one? Yes, Mara is just taking a photo, which will probably end up on our Facebook, Instagram, or on our Google Plus account. I think I can say that we're doing well, both of us. Yes. All is well. It's thumbs up, but we're not going to do a thumbs up. Yeah, I think we've done enough thumbs up. By the way, the one thing I haven't showed when I do the tours of the seat and the side pockets is the coat hanger. I've forgotten to mention there is a coat hanger on the seat. But uh, let me just get around to it so I can see. There's the coat hanger, which you can actually pull out, in and out, to hang your coat or smaller jacket. Today we're not showing as many outside window views as pitch dark outside and there's nothing to see. And uh, basically you're only filming the reflection of the inside of this cabin. You can hardly see outside. Time for dinner. The stewardess is just behind us with the food. On our last flight from Amsterdam to Seoul, I started the movie uh, The Secret Life of Pets, which I didn't finish. That's the one right there. I gotta start that one up now and find the place where I left off, then pause it, and after dinner I'll try and watch that movie finished. I don't need subtitles now. Then I'll just fast forward to the right place. Ah, uh, no, thank you. Looks like a lovely, lovely meals. Very, very nice.
nice to get some white wine. Mato had a white wine, I've got enough with the beer. I haven't drunk it finished yet. And, uh, oh, I'll call for something later. This is what the tray is looking like in front of me also. In a moment, we'll get Mato to show us properly what is under the cover and what that soy day is. And so here we are at the other side of the world and we got, as Mato says, a little piece of Denmark with us, the Lurpike butter. Soy day. Must be a pudding. Definitely a pudding. We'll come back to that in the end here. Yeah. Nice bun. Yeah, let's have a look what's in there. Sounds nice. It's supposed to be a seafood something with clams and fish. Quite excited for this. We both love seafood. Therefore, we both took the same dish today. Oh, wow. Potatoes and prawns and clams and a little bit of everything I can see. It's really good. The beef is also looking nice there. The noodles. That's okay. Yeah. Mato, we'll just pull my foil off. Lovely. Oh wow. Nice creamy sauce with some potatoes. Oh, there's even uh, there's even uh, calamari. calamari yeah. Smelling really good. So we taste. Yeah. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. And of course, let's not forget there was water, Jeju pure water, and of course the knives and forks are metal cutlery. We're always happy for that. We eat like human beings. It's not just that; it's also plastic uh, utensils are so difficult to eat with. If you get a piece of beef or something hard, it'll just bend. We also can see that there's a little toothpick in the pack and a serviette with the Korean Air logo on it. It's also very nice. Well, I'm gonna eat now. Gotta get stuck into this. That's looking absolutely fantastic and smelling fantastic too. Mano's just buttered her bun already. I've already tasted the... What do you say about the bun? Very good bun. It's good, soft and hot. I've already tasted the seafood dish. And that's really good also. I really, really enjoyed that. Or oh, I'm really enjoying it. I just removed the cover from the what we think is the dessert. This is what it looks like. It's like a creamy something or other. I'm gonna take a spoonful of it before I put the sauce, the soy duck, on top. So it doesn't go all over the place. And then I can just get a taste of it also. Well, I just had a first taste of it without the sauce and I must say it's not really my thing but I'm gonna eat it because I want to try it and it's not sweet it's almost like a yeast kind of taste I'm still not sure what it is let me see if I can read it so it says soy day. tofu in tofu yeah, it is, yeah, is. soy day tofu maybe it's better with the soya sauce it can't be soy sauce. No? Okay, well I'm going to taste it and I'll come back again. Just going to taste it with the sauce now. Well... I'm not criticizing it, but it's not quite my taste. It almost tastes like sour cream and onion chips. I'm wondering whether this should have been a starter, perhaps. It's not dessert. Well, I it's not a dessert. No. It's very healthy. I think it's safe to say I'm not going to finish it. Why do you so burning? Thank God I still have the beer. So that wasn't for Western taste, though, was it? Used to it. It's not for Max's taste. That wasn't a hit. So then, it's one of the first times on an airplane I found something that I don't actually like. I don't like. Normally everything's eatable, but that's not for for me. I wouldn't say Westerners, but for my taste, it's not something I like. 
gels. Let me wash it down. So now it's Mano's turn to have the starter dessert. More likely a starter. Tofu starter with, with a sauce. I'm sure it's good if you've grown up with it. We don't spill everywhere. Now to see what Mato thinks, so it's me who's. Oh, it's getting better with the soya. I think it gets better with the soya. Do you like it? I can eat it. Yeah, but do you like it? So, put it this way. If it was in the shop, I would buy it. No. If anybody knows whether it's a dessert or a starter, if anybody knows whether it's a dessert or a starter, please let us know down in the comments. Finishes her tofu there. I was. I asked the students if I could have the beef because I wanted to film it for for our viewers so they could see what the beef looked like. This was the other choice. It was looking very nice also. Actually, three choices. The first one was chicken. Yes, there was a chicken choice. Yeah. There's a beef which looks delicious also. There's some noodles, some broccoli, good sauce, and a lot of beef over in the corner. I'm sure Maro's gonna to want to taste that also. So we're just gonna try that. And uh, it was very kind of the stewardess to let us have that extra meal. Probably difficult to eat. I'm just gonna taste the beef. The idea is to get the meat on the fork without spilling it in my lap. Getting a few noodles also. Wait, let me get this mouthful here. A bite size, as Mark Weens would say. And here we go. Very nice. The nice beef pieces. So I just finished the second delicious meal, the beef. I just wanted to taste it to see what it was like, so I could give my feedback here. And then while I was finishing it, look what came ice cream for everybody. It's the first time I've actually experienced it on an, on an airline. I know other airlines do it, but it's the first time Mara and I have had the chance and it's a cheesecake ice cream. So this is a real treat. I will, keep, I will keep it for a while because I like my ice cream to be a little bit melted, not totally hard. Ah, yeah. Let's have a look at that. Oh, I haven't had cheesecake ice cream for years. Thanks, Korean Air. This is a treat. Still not much to see outside that window, therefore I'm not going to film there until maybe when we land and, and at least see some lights. Secret Life of Pets is still running in front of me. My ice cream is also waiting to get a little bit softer until I eat it. Mara's having her coffee and the stewardess is serving the tea. Nice and yes. Such a friendly crew and that's on both flights we've had with Korean Air. What a pleasure. How's the ice cream? Yeah? Enjoy. Let's see how far we are. Ground speed 838 kilometers an hour. Altitude is 36,000 feet or 10,972 meters. Distance to destination 1,441 miles or 2,320 kilometers. Local time and origin 2021. Local time and destination 1822. Time to destination 2 hours and 50 minutes left to go. You can see the lights have just been dimmed a little bit in the cabin. 
sure that I'll turn the lights off for a while for the rest of the flight. Probably can't see it because of the gap in light, but way out there in the distance we're passing Taipei. Crews make an announcement that it's uh, duty-free shopping time. Continue with a, a movie. What are you watching? Uh, what drama? A drama for Maro, and I'm going to try and finish my Secret Life of Pets. We fast forwarded a little bit to where I left off on our last flight from Amsterdam. So now, when we've all eaten dinner, the lights have been turned off. I think you can see it's pretty dark inside the cabin. Hotels. 
lot of blinking neon Sweet. lights. Yeah, look at that. Back in Asia. Where are the bikes? <laughs> Millions of bikes just there. There again, bikes, 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 bikes. It's crazy. Well, we're almost there now. A couple of seconds time until we touch down. Almost there now. Here we go. And touch down. Flaps up. Yes. Fogging up, I can see. It's not much to see out the window here. Not yet, anyway. I think I'm going to cut here because the pitch is blurry. Because the window is fogged up. It's a little bit bouncy, this filming. We are on the tarmac at Ho Chi Minh City Airport. There's an aircraft over there, Vietnam Airlines. Aircraft. Again. I wonder if that's our gate over there. There we go. A guy with a blinking light and a car that guided us in. So here's our gate. And now the telephone's got to be turned on and the messages start to come in. See the guy there? If it's possible to see him. With his little blinking button. Almost there now. Sneaking into position. And still sneaking in slowly but surely to the bridge. And we're here. Yeah. And seatbelt signs off and the people are up. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> yes, good seats there. Another good flag of Korean Air. Very good service and very nice personnel. These are the seats one would love to have. To a review of those one day it would be wonderful. Bye bye, thank you very much. This is nice. This is very nice. Wow, yeah. Yes. Bye bye, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. Yes. In the way. We are on Ho Chi Minh. Straight up. And then we have a plane we just came in on. On Boeing Triple Seven. Feel the nice warmth. And good to be back in Asia again. Go to the right. And take the rolling escalate. 
It's a very warm climate, you can feel the warmth. It's 28 degrees outside, we're ready now. We got our winter clothes on, long pants, jerseys, I got my jeans on. So I'm looking forward to changing the clothes when we get back to the hotel. And just relaxing after it's been more than a 30 hour flight. At least a 30 hour journey. So now I must go to the left. And there we have the passport control. Maro, go right down to the end. So we just passed through security. Yeah, we do it downstairs. More choices there. You can always come up again. Now we must find out where our baggage is. There's the baggage belt. So as soon as you come down, you can see what number belt your baggage is on. And we came from Seoul. Arrived. Is it baggage belt three? From Seoul, flight. Arrived, number three. Yeah. We must, isn't that number three? Yeah, Well, that's over here. It's already running. So we go over here. That's where it starts. And then we must just hope our luggage was put on board. Ah, oh, that's not mine. Oh, no, that's not it. So here we are, waiting for our luggage in Ho Chi Minh Airport. This is always the moment when you're a little bit, how you say, scary, but are they arriving or not? Are you scary? Well, after three years. Or you're, or you're scared, the luggage is not going to arrive. I'm scary. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just hoping that our luggage came, because we came so late to Amsterdam for our flight to Korea. They said our luggage was taken on board, so it was being useful. I was just trying to get on the net now quickly so we can see the currency exchange rate. So we don't get ripped off from day one. Comes some familiar baggage out of the door in a moment. And that's ours. I was always happy to see one's luggage arrive again. That's mine, and there's Maro's, the two of them. Good. So, can you... Yeah, I'll catch some.